wrote, um, they designed and produced this car. Um, the problem they had was, um, history tells us that by the time the car was produced, most of the current Formula 1 cars had gone rear engines and lighter. So the forward drive system, although great for traction, um, was a disadvantage in terms of the power that it soaked up. So the car did win one Grand Prix with uh, Sterling Moss in 1961 at Alton Park. Um, and that's its claim to fame, it's the only uh, forward drive Grand Prix car to have won a Grand Prix. But you, here at Classic Performance Engineering, you like to make your life about as difficult as it possibly could be, because when our transmission engineers got that box apart, I mean, you can't go to a microfiche on the internet or something like that and look for a part number. It's like taking apart a Swiss watch. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievably complicated, but actually it's one of the things is, we like to think here yeah, we're doing quite a good job. Uh, we had the engineering drawings for the gearbox and the center dips and everything like that when we took it apart. And it took us a lot of head scratching to work out how it even worked, even with the drawings. So the people that designed it and produced it in period were um, geniuses. And it's an amazing piece of engineering, it really is. Yeah, and the sad thing for you is you've got to put it back together again in a working fashion at some point. Yeah, and to a time frame, because it's uh, entered for the Goodwood Revival. Um, all the components are uh, in many pieces at the moment. We're having uh, gears and everything made.